Once you've installed Arc from the Windows 10 store onto your chosen hard drive, all you simply now need to do is head to that file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up mine. So on the screen right now is my file path to the Windows 10 Arc files. Now, the only difference between my file path and your file path is going to be the user's name. So it should install all the files on your main default hard drive, but the only difference, like I said, should be the user being different. So mine obviously is Dan, yours is going to be different. So follow that file path and you should be good to go. Now, before we go ahead and modify any of these files, it's important to note that Arc cannot be running when we are modifying the files. Because if Arc is running when we mod the files, there's a chance the files will not save, then there's a chance they'll get corrupted, and then it's just going to cause more issues where you have to reinstall the game to restore the files. It's a lot more work than it should be, so just don't have Arc open when you're editing the files. So starting for the game user settings, now this is where we do all the basic level of the coding. And what I mean by that, this is where you do the control the admin password, this is where you'll edit the decay timers, the wild dino levels, and the structure pickup time. So all the basic stuff of the server. Now, it's important to note that when you are in this game user setting, the only section that you edit is everything that I'm highlighting now. So everything under server settings, you can go ahead and touch and edit. Um, and you can also edit the message of the day. You should not be editing anything above the server settings because then that will cause more problems and then you're just gonna, just, it's gonna make your life much harder. So only stick to the server settings and the message of the day. Now, going through this, you might realize there's actually some codes missing. For example, the player uh, food and water drain. And you're like, okay, well, what do we do? So quite simply, we will need to add that code in manually ourselves. So to make your life easy, you just simply come to the server configuration on the wiki. Go ahead and find the code. So here's the player food drain. Double click, go control C, and then head back to your file. And now you can place the code anywhere you want, so long as it's under the server settings. But we're going to go ahead and place it here. And then we're just going to go ahead and finish the code. And there you go. Now we won't have as terrible food drain. And simply go save. And there you go. Done and dusted. We have now edited the game user. Alright, so now moving on to the game ini. Now the game ini is where the magic happens, so to speak. So this is where you add your stacking codes, the auto unlock engrams, adding non-native dinos like the gacha to the island, and then adjusting the player and dino levels, and the list goes on and on. If you want a more detailed list, head to the wiki. You'll have everything you need to know there. Now, before we can do anything though, unfortunately, with the Windows 10 version, we have to go through a mini process before we can actually start editing the file, because as of right now, we cannot actually edit the file, it, nothing will work. So, first thing you have to do is when you load up your game mini, it'll look like this, you want to find this shooter game options thing, and you want to replace it with this. Now, I'm going to have that in the description so you can copy and paste it, but you want to replace it with that. Then you want to go save, and then what's going to happen is now you have to load up the Windows 10 version of Arc, and then once that's loaded up, you'll have to then jump into any map, so island, aberration, whatever you want, in a single player. So you'll load it up in single player. And then once it's loaded up in single player, you'll then need to exit to main menu, then quit arc, and then head back to the game any. So I'll see you guys in a second when you've done that. All right, so once you've completed that stage, your game any now will look like this. It's going to have two different sections. It'll have the shooter game mode options, and it's going to have the script shooter game shooter mode. Now, basically, what you'll need to do from this stage is you're going to go ahead and get all this code here that's under the first section, under the first header to be more precise, delete it, and then you'll be left with this. Now, the reason that we've done that is basically all the code that was just here is an exact duplication of the code here. And if there's any duplicated code, then the server won't work. It's going to cause more problems. So you have to remove the duplicate code. Now, we also need to do one more step, and that is putting in a custom game any code. So I've just now put in the B auto unlock engrams equals true code. So now that I've done that, I need to save the file, close the thing, reboot it, and now the game any for Windows 10 is correct, and we can actually go ahead and start working on it. So from this stage forward, everything under the script shooter game, this is all under that, you will always put all your new codes. So you'll put your stacking codes here, your non-native dinos here, your custom drops. You'll put that all under the script shooter game. And then everything under the shooter game game mode option, all you do here is just edit the code here. You don't add anything under this header. You just edit what's here, all right? If you're going to add anything into the game INI section, it now goes under here. And you only just adjust these settings. You don't do anything else. Aside from that, 
there you go you have now got your windows 10 arc up and running and you can go ahead and adjust the files as you want now something to keep in mind as well that any addition that you make to the game files will only affect your single player world or your host non-dedicated world or your dedicated server if you host it off your computer it will not affect official servers or your mate server it only affects your local version of the game Aside from that, if you want some help with the server configurations, I've got a growing playlist of Arc tutorials that I keep coming out with more and more every now and then. So definitely check out that playlist if you want to get something started right now. As well as I'll have a link to my pace spin in the description below. So you can go ahead and get all these custom codes for free. So stacking codes, auto unlocking, grams code. So go ahead, check that out, get some free stuff. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.